Hi friends, hope you all are doing well. Today's video is going to be all about jackets and coats for fall and winter 2023. But truly, these pieces that I have in my own wardrobe are curated to be classic and timeless. So if you are looking for a specific outerwear piece or if you are looking for maybe something that's a bit more on trend, we can definitely cover all of that in this video. I absolutely love this time of year because I feel like adding that extra layer of even a lightweight jacket all the way to a wool coat just can add so much to an outfit, so much interest, so much intrigue, and we absolutely love making our outfits be as interesting and beautiful as possible. So this guide is specifically for petite women. Anyone can watch this though. This is obviously such good information for anybody if you are looking to add some outerwear into your wardrobe for this fall and winter season. So. I wanted to break down my pieces by casual, kind of in between, I'm gonna call it elevated casual and then a bit more formal. So let's dive right into the video and walk through some of the best outerwear pieces for fall and winter 2023. So diving right into our casual jackets, and these are definitely more jacket than coat. So if you are in the midst of a summer to fall transition, these might be the ones for you. The first one I'm calling is an adventure jacket. Now the one that I have, I bought secondhand a couple years ago before our trip to Maine. And I went to something that was going to be a bit warmer, had a hood, was waterproof, and I could just generally feel like I could throw on if we were going hiking or if we were going on a beach walk or even going out to dinner. And it fit the main aesthetic very well. So this jacket is from the American jacket outerwear maker Penfield. And they do a fantastic job of making these just very classic, high quality, amazing priced jackets. So. Like I said, this one I bought secondhand. I will try to link one like this or similar to this in the description below. Hopefully I can find one. But again, this is just such a classic. It is a zip, which I do in general feel like zippers makes jackets and coats just feel a bit more casual. So that could be a great tip for you if you're looking for something a bit more elevated, go for something with buttons a bit more casual, look to something that has a zipper on it. And this one is again great because it has these kind of everything pockets right along the front of it and then also on the side. It has this flannel style of lining and then just a very, very waterproofed with a hood outer shell that just makes it a fantastic jacket just for throwing on if it's raining outside, if it's a little bit chilly, if you are coming back from the gym, if you are wearing jeans and boots and you're going on a hike. A jacket like this, honestly, I have reached for this jacket more times than I can really count in the last two years. And I feel like this could be well replaced with a more traditional raincoat if you lived in a rainier climate. But this one was just absolutely perfect. I could see this going everywhere with me from, like I said, I wore it to Maine, um, trips to the Blue Ridge Parkway, Asheville, basically anywhere. So this is just such a versatile piece. I do put it in that casual adventure outerwear category, but you could truly wear this for so many different things. The second more casual jacket is a jacket that I have had on my wish list for years and years and years and years. No, it is not a Burberry trench coat. That is also on my wish list. So if you guys want to like and subscribe this video, kind of help me get to that monetization point so I can get one of those Burberry trench coats, then that would be amazing. But this is a much more attainable, affordable, but no less classic jacket that I got last year for my birthday in preparation for a beautiful trip that my husband and I took to England. And that is a traditional barber waxed jacket. Now, like I said, I have wanted a barber for the longest time and I did my due diligence of research for this jacket. I ended up buying it from Tuckernuck, which I felt like they had the best 
A, it was in stock because these are actually pretty hard to find in stock. And they had a really, really good guide to if you want the, there's multiple different styles of barber jackets. If you're unfamiliar with the brand, it is a supremely classic British outerwear jacket company. They also make lots of different styles, but this is one of their most classics. This is the, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong. There is the Bledel and the, the Bedell. I, I think I butchered that. I will link all the details about this down in the description box below, um, including potentially a pronunciation guide, but this is probably the most iconic jacket in all of jacket history. It is, it can be unisex, but they do make a bit more of a fitted one, particularly for women. This is just a bit more the oversized one. And when I tell you that I wore this all around England and then all around the place that I live here in the South, because this is just the most versatile piece of clothing I think I have in my wardrobe. As a petite, this is honestly still a really good fit for me. It was not too long. It definitely comes below my hips a bit like a chore coat would or something like that. For other people, it might hit you a bit differently, but I thought that this was still a very flattering style for me as a petite. I got the US size four specifically so that I could wear things under it, such as heavier sweaters, even sweatshirts if I needed to really kind of layer up. The lovely, lovely thing about Barber is A, it's waterproof. B, you can put it with basically anything. I have worn this with dresses. I have worn this with skirts and tights and boots. I have worn this with leggings, jeans, even trousers. The, the wonderful thing about it is with this classic olive color, it also comes in like a brown color, the corduroy, the beautiful plaid on the inside, it gives it this very English countryside look. And I honestly specifically bought this for going to the English countryside and was not disappointed in the slightest bit, but it gives that very kind of equestrian, a bit more country look. So if you're at all familiar with any of the British vloggers that are out there, I follow so many, Lydia and Josie, just these lovely, beautiful women that live in the English countryside and they they have their beautiful Zimmerman dresses on and they throw a barber jacket on to go out to their garden. And honestly, that is such a vibe and that is something that I do more often than not. So while I have put this in the casual category, this could definitely kind of span basically every type of clothing that you're wearing and it is just such a versatile piece. I love it to death. If you are looking for a supremely versatile, beautiful piece of clothing, this is something you might wanna consider. Diving into the more elevated casual pieces, I have a couple coats slash jackets that kind of fit into this category because I didn't really know what to call it. Like I said, I have worn my barber jacket with many different pieces in the past, but these ones definitely can go a bit more dressy if you need them to. So the first piece is from Everlane and it is the Renew Quilted Jacket. And I got this a couple years ago and was very, very pleased with A, how it fit, especially me as a petite, and then also just its versatility and even warmth for many situations. So this one is in a classic camel color. Um, it is a button all the way down has these big nice pockets that definitely keep you warm. It is more of a military style is what they call it online. And as you can see, I did need to cuff the sleeves a little bit because they came down just too far on my shorter arms as a petite. It does come down to right about my knees, but it has this wonderful feature of these splits up the side. So it doesn't feel very structured. It is very loose. It is very lighter weight if you need it to, but you can also definitely layer underneath. So again, I have, this is a great piece to wear over dresses. If you aren't looking for something as heavy or as formal as a top coat, it has this gorgeous quilted detailing, which is on trend right now. I'm sure you will have seen a fall 2023 is all about the quilted jackets, specifically in an array of different colors. Everlane right now is doing this particular coat in a few different lengths with also some updated colors for 
fall and winter 2023. So they have a beautiful olive color, light pink, a lighter camel color, a black even. So if you're looking for a coat like this that you can throw on and use it as just a bit of a wear with everything type of jacket that's a little bit warmer, then you can definitely find this on Everling right now for a really, really good price. I will link it down below in the description. I got a size small, but it definitely fits oversized. So size down if you want it a bit more fitted, size up if you want it to be able to go over basically anything you have underneath. And the second piece in this Elevated Classics collection, Elevated Casual collection rather, is an iconic trench coat. Now, I spent a while this past spring looking for a reasonably, reasonably priced, petite friendly trench coat, and it took me a while, but I actually found this on Amazon. I got it specifically for a trip to New York City and then have been honestly wearing it through all the transition months and just pulled it out to wear it again as the weather starts to turn. There is nothing more iconic and classic in my opinion than a trench coat and I loved this one from Amazon because A, it fit me as a petite person. A lot of the trench coats right now I will say are very oversized, very long, and I did not want a trench coat that hit me mid-calf. I wanted something that hit me around the knee area, but wasn't $300 or $3,000. So I found this one as a really great option. It has held up really, really well. I have washed it several times and it comes out beautifully from the wash. It is a gorgeous double breasted. I loved the black buttons for that extra detail. It has the military detailing. Again, just a random brand I found on Amazon. I did a whole trench coat try on haul. I will link that. I will link a couple blog posts and I will link this particular trench coat as well. Like I said, it's perfect for petites. It hits me perfectly. I'm only 5'1", so if you're anywhere in that 4'11 to 5'4 range of a petite, this one will fit you really, really well if you're looking for just a very classic style of trench coat. And again, a few outfit ideas for trench coats. You can wear it with basically everything. I have worn this, again, with dresses, with very fancy dresses and heels. I have worn this with leggings coming out from the gym and everything in between. So if you feel like you have a hole in your wardrobe of just a very classic jacket, a trench coat, especially in like a tan or an olive color is going to be your best friend. Look for one that is well-made, good fitting, you really, really like, and then see where you go from there. The final two pieces I'm going to put firmly in the dressy or more elevated category, and they are my true my two true coats that I have in my wardrobe. The first one I have had since high school. It's from Gap. It is a classic navy blue car coat, and I absolutely love this thing. I am so glad that I have not yet gotten rid of this coat because it is a super classic, very well-made, beautiful style, obviously. I will do my best to find very similar in both price point and style of this exact coat. But because I bought this about 15, 16 years ago, I'm not gonna find the exact same one. But let's break this down and see why I love it so much. A, it is a car coat is just a really beautiful style of coat that's not quite a top coat or an, or an overcoat, but it has its style all on its own. This one has this gorgeous, sweet Peter Pan detailing, four buttons, great top pockets right here that then also have a little like sneaky side pocket if your hands are really cold. A great length, it hits me just below the hips and so I can wear this with so many things. It looks beautiful with heels and navy blue is such a understated color for the season. I feel like we are seeing so much of the navy blue and the burnt orange together that I think pairing this coat with burnt orange trousers, a pair of heeled boots would be absolutely beautiful, kind of taking it back to that 70s, 80s color palette a little bit while still being updated. 
So a car coat, you will not be able to get a more classic coat than this. Like I said, I've had this for 16 years. It is still going strong. Look for pieces that are well made. This one from Gap, Gap of 16 years ago, had pieces that were very, very well made. So look for something similar on J. Crew or Made Well in that price point. Again, I will link options in the description below. But I absolutely love this coat and I'm so glad I have not gotten rid of it yet. And then the final coat that I have in my wardrobe is a very classic all winter long top coat that I got before a trip to New York City in 2018, I believe. So I've had this one in my wardrobe for a while as well, but there are so many similar styles to this that we will have no problem linking them in the description below. But this one is from J. Crew specifically, and it is so beautifully made. It has held up so well these past many years now that I've had it. It washes well. I do a dry clean only with it, but it is a fully lined, beautiful, three button, very classic top pocket trench coat in just a very classic camel color. Now, I think that you cannot go wrong with the classic colors. You have gray, camel, navy, and black. If you are looking for a super classic coat to go with anything, look for something in those four color palettes. Specifically, I would say either a camel or a black, depending on your own color preferences and what colors you wear most in your wardrobe. This one specifically, I did not get a petite sizing because I wanted it to be a little bit longer and this does come very long. I would say it comes a bit longer even than my trench coat that I have in my wardrobe, but when you are in the midst of a frigid cold day and you need to layer up under this, you need to just be as warm as you possibly can, you will want the extra length. So it looks really good with flats or heels. It, it can fit lots of layers underneath. I think at one point I've had maybe three or four layers underneath this, including a wool sweater. So I got this a bit oversized in the sense that I wanted it to still look tailored, but I could still wear things underneath without feeling like the Michelin man. So this is such a classic. The lines on this coat are beautiful. The tailoring is so well done like I said, especially for the price point. So this is a must have for your winter 2023 and 2024 wardrobe coming up. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that these coat and jacket tips were helpful for you as you are potentially looking to make an investment in your own wardrobe for fall and winter 2023. We will have new videos coming out every single week. So like this video, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment telling me what coats that you absolutely love in your wardrobe, and we will see you in the next video.